Hi everybody, JT here. I'm back with another video. This video I will show you how you can do multi-part tab in GIFCAM. Uh, let me show you where that tab is first and then you will be understand uh, when you watch this video. So this is multi-part, right? What it means is you make the program for this side only and then you when you use that tab it will uh, create the two paths the space or the degree where you uh, want the next part be program from right so for this setup here I will make the program for this well I think I already make but I'll make the program on this side only and then I will use that tab to transfer all the two paths to this file. Okay. Um, there are some limitations for this tab when you work on file access machine. Let's say for this particularly uh, setup. You cannot do this side if there's some feature on here or if you have some feature on here, you cannot really do it anything there because when you do on this side, this, you know, vi will be on the way. And if you do on this side, when it comes to here, this part will be on the way. Therefore, you cannot really do anything for this two um side here uh, but it convenient in some way though because let's say if you have this side and this side in the top then this method will be uh, best because you can use this to uh, multi to to machine multi part at the same you know like at the same uh, time and you don't have to make to pass for every single one of them. And I think it even better if you work something on the three axis machine. Uh, let's say if you have a whole bunch of feature on top here, and then you make the program only one, and then you transfer all those two pass, you know, to another part using that tab. But let me show you how you can do this and then uh, you will decide, you know, what best for you or how you want to do it. So for this part is I just make some two paths, you know, like uh, basic, I just put something on here. So nothing really fancy. Let me see here. So contour spot real on that side right and then that's it but you can do anything though not just like this but you pocket real tap hole down hole or something like that as long as it's on this two side here you will be fine okay so after you make all these two paths right you go in here multi part right right now it said none but when you put a part duplication it will show up so in here you have to be careful to uh, pick which one it with there's some option in here let's say okay uh, let's talk about this one first define precision let's say if you don't want right in the center of this and then you can put whatever the, the the x offset is uh, you can put anywhere as long as you know what that distance is uh, but let's say for this part i know from the center here to the center of the y is 96 millimeter right so therefore i'll put 96 millimeter times two so that's this is the number right or you can just do an equal space. So I only need two, right? 96, right? Two, okay, 
but it on the negative side so I'll put negative okay so if you know exactly the space from one part to another part then you put it in then I think this one is easy right grid is okay direction one way okay and you can see on the picture here if you have us let's say if you have a uh, vi with you know double jaw you can do that this too so i think this is work good if you have like a double uh, uh jaw on those kind of vies but uh, for this one i think this one work good on uh, this one it will be fine but let's just stick with it okay part clear so every two after it finish it go to that part clear to move to the next one so be careful when you choose you choose this then you have to give enough space i think i put here what is it eight inches okay so from here up eight inches somewhere in here so i think it should be fine okay okay back and forth are uh, complete each part uh, the difference between one is if you select back and forth it pull the two out and finish it part first and then go to the neck right it does not change the two for the neck part but if you don't do that if you select this it will finish the two it will change the two finish the spot real spot real and then Chain back to the uh, the, the 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 end meal and and and, and uh, contour the next part here, which I think I sh I don't do this. I usually do this because when you chain the two, it come out. It finish this one first and then go to the next part. You don't want the two chain too many times, right? You're losing a lot of cycle time by doing that so usually i do this but there are some time you know if you have something you need to change the two and then you choose this but you know you know what i mean so let's do this and render it oh let me explain why i only turn this so i have this uh all this feature set up but the reason i turn this one to uh, the fixture display only because I just want to show you this if I turn everything it will be you know like let me turn everything huh? let let just turn this and then you will see what I mean oh okay uh, it because it doesn't sell here because you I have not turned on the multi part rendering so in here you will see this one pop up if you click on it it will render all these and you can see see if I turn this that's one to uh, fixture it will show this which is you know it not right so I don't want this okay Okay, so if I do that, then it will sit so two, right? Uh, let's say if you want three, right? then it will show up three. There you go. But for this particular work, for this particular machine, is only two. So let me turn back and then render it. So the first two come down, right? And, okay. And then spot, 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 infinite. Okay. So that's what I mean when you have uh, this one check. But let's say if you don't don't want that, you want this one first. And then render it. It was you will understand why. Okay on two of first right and then spot real spot real and then back to contour so therefore this it will be one two change and then another two change here so that means instead of two to two change this will be four if you do this 
right? So, uncheck that and check that. Okay. And that's the reason why I only turned it to so you can see it. But let's say if you have, uh, you run on three axis machine, and let's say if you have a big machine, you set up like five vice in there, or uh, many vice that you can fit, right? Let's disable it too, and then I will show you why it works best on three axis machine. Let's say, well, you have uh, more feature to do on up top here, right? Whatever you want to do or whatever you have. But let's turn that one to, I don't know, four. And each one equal, I don't know, minus five inches. Okay, so from center here to center here is 5 inches, right? And let's say if you have uh, 4 parts to make 4 by on the machine, and it will be very convenient. See that? So you only need to make one of this and then you use that tab, right? And boom, you have the uh, two paths for the other three easy and fast. Okay, hope you guys like it and hope you can apply this to your programming skill if you uh, don't know yet or if you already know hopefully you can still learn something um, so if you learn something if you like it make sure you like my video and subscribe to my channel turn on notification so future video come out you will be able to see it first hand uh, hope uh, hope you guys like it and then see you guys next time. Goodbye now.